Hey everyone, welcome to another episode, another installment of Color Mixing with Chris. I'm Chris Arpin and we are here at Createx Colors and we are going to talk about a color called Pagan Gold. And uh, we have gotten quite a few uh, tech emails, questions, people call in or, or write into us and, and ask us how to mix Pagan Gold. So we are going to address that and actually something that we uh, spent a little bit of time playing around with, trying to get the ratios uh, dialed in and see what we liked. And it's actually kind of a mixture, if you're familiar with this color, it's a little bit lighter than our tequila yellow and a little bit darker than our lemon yellow. So you guessed it, we're gonna mix these two together to get that pagan gold color. So after a little bit of playing around, I started with a one-to-one -one ratio and it was still a little dark because the tequila yellow is a little more concentrated. It's a little darker, richer than the lemon. If you guys know the lemon yellow, it is a very light candy color. So it's very weak in terms of strength. So it ended up being a three-to-one mix for that optimum color that we felt was really close to that. And that was three parts lemon yellow and one part tequila yellow. So we're going to get set up and actually so I'm going to show you guys how to mix that. I'm going to mix it right here at the table and we have our three, actually four, substrates. If you guys have watched these other videos you're familiar with, we have our metallic white coarse that we're going to use as a base. We're going to use our metallic gold. We're going to use our silver sealer and our charcoal metallic, our wicked charcoal metallic. So those are going to be the four colors that we put this combo over. And again, you'll see the different values you can achieve in terms of what your, your ground coat, what that base coat color is. And we'll also talk about the tent strength and, and mixing these. So stick around and we'll be right back. All right, everyone, welcome back. We are just about to get ready to start mixing some candy. And uh, I want to take this opportunity. These are uh, samples that I actually sprayed out prior to this to try to get the, the ratio, the, the ratio I talked about figuring out for the concentration of the two candies to really get the, the color close. Um, these are all over silver sealer. because uh, So basically my standard was a silver uh, ground coat. So these are all the same ground coat, which is this guy over here, our 6013 silver sealer. And this first one you can see is a little bit darker than these other two. These are real similar, but this one is, is substantially darker. So this first one here we'll start with, this is a two to one mixture of our lemon yellow. So two parts lemon yellow to one part tequila yellow. And that was, it looked good, but it was a little dark. It was a little richer and it's, it's really closer to tequila yellow by itself. So I stepped that up to a three to one mix. So I went three parts, that's this guy right here, three parts lemon yellow to one part tequila. And again, like I said, the tequila yellow is a little more uh, concentrated. It's a little, little richer kind of a candy where the lemon yellow is very weak. And uh, this last one is a four to one mix. So that's four parts lemon yellow to one part tequila yellow. And these two are really close. So depending upon how many coats you wanted to put, these are real, real close. So the, uh, what we're gonna do is I think I'm happiest with that three to one only because I didn't see much of a difference going four to one. So the three to one is kind of what we're gonna do today and where we're gonna be uh, and how I'm gonna spray it. So all of these are uh, four coats over that silver as well. So we're gonna go ahead, I'm gonna get this out of the way so you guys can see what we're mixing. And we're gonna start Mixing our candy. So we're going to start with the lemon yellow because that's the first part of that three to one ratio. So I'm going to go find my three to one on my mixing cup. It's going to make it real simple. And I'm going to go, we're going to do a lot of spraying. So I'm going to mix quite a bit, especially at four coats. So I'm going to go all the way to that top line on that three to one. And then we're going to go to the next line on my one part. So this is tequila yellow one part. So this is a three to one mix and that's it right there. So I'm gonna mix this really good and then we're going to add our 4050. All right guys, we are back and I'm ready to start mixing my 4050. I got my other mixing cup and uh, I got the 4050 right here and we are going to go at a ratio six to one. If you guys have watched any of the other videos that we have, anytime I'm spraying candy, six to one is kind of my go-to in terms of the concentration. So that's six parts 40-50 to one part candy mix. So I'm gonna go right up to my first line over here at six. And if you guys aren't familiar uh, with this type of mixing cup, it's gonna make your life super easy. These are uh, from a company called Easy Mix, and they're, they're great. There's 
every ratio from one to one all the way up to eight to one, and then there's parts and everything. So it's very easy to figure all this out. So super easy. Um, I am going to strain my candy before I pour it in here. Now I use, if you guys have, again, have watched the other videos, I have the PPS system. We use the PPS 2.0 system from 3M. Love that system. It has a strainer built into the lid itself on the cup, um, but those are 200 microns. So we're spraying candy. This is very, very thin, extremely fine. So anytime I'm mixing my candies, these are Gerson. These are 125 micron. They don't have to be Gerson, but these are really, really fine. I don't know if you can see the tightness of that mesh, but it is very, very tight in terms of the screen. So these are 125 micron. That's what I recommend for the candy. So if I pour my 4050 through here, it's gonna have a hard time moving through this strainer. So I'm gonna actually, as I add my candy, I'm just gonna pour it right through here. It's a lot easier. And this is just kind of that last protection just before you start spraying. And I'm still gonna use the strainer that's obviously in the cup, but it's not gonna catch what the 125 is gonna do. So that's six to one right there. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this up extremely well, making sure that all of that white that you see on the side of that cup, all that white is gone. So you really gotta kinda be methodical with the way you mix this. Now I'm spraying with a full size gun here. I'm gonna actually use my Supernova. That's kind of my go-to and that's a one, two uh, Supernova Evo. Um, and because I did six parts candy to one part 4050 and I'm using a full size spray gun, I am not gonna reduce this. If you see that flow off this stick, that is pretty much the sweet spot in terms of viscosity. So there's really no reason uh, if I was using something a little bit smaller, if I was doing something with an airbrush or a smaller tip size, maybe an LPH 80, I might add a splasher reducer. But uh, because I'm using a full-size gun, uh, even the one two on a full-size gun, it's you really, really going to be fine with just this candy mixed in. There's really no need to go ahead and, and add reducer. So we are going to keep mixing this up. I'm going to grab my gun, and when we come back, we'll be ready to spray some candy. Hi right, guys, we are ready to spray colors in the cup. Uh, this was, if you guys remember on all those samples that I had, it was four coats. So we're doing four coats. Uh, again, it's the three to one mix. That's what we're using for all these. So I'm gonna go ahead and do coat number one. Uh, we're in between coats, we've got a little bit of dry time, and we thought we'd take this opportunity to kind of show you guys um, exactly what it was that I was talking about. Now, these are those three samples that I had when I was initially, these were kind of my test panels. We're always talking about doing test panels and trying to figure out what your color's gonna look like and what the concentration should be. So we kind of just wanted to show, these are all, again, these are over silver sealer. So this is a uh, 6013 silver sealer, and this was my two to one ratio. So a very strong mix of tequila yellow and lemon candy. And now this is my uh, three to one mixture. So it's a little bit lighter, certainly. And this is the one that we're spraying right now. And this is the one that I think, you know, looks and matches that color that we're trying to, that pagan gold color, pretty, pretty darn close. So this is uh, a four to one mixture. So it's just a little less concentrated, a little more lemon yellow. And I, I really didn't see a massive difference in the final color. So that's kind of why I opted it the, the three to one. Um, otherwise we start kind of washing out the color. So again, this is kind of showing the importance of doing a test panel and exactly what you're gonna achieve with that. So we're gonna get back inside and do coat number two and we'll see you guys when these are all finished. Hey guys, we're back from inside. Coat number one is nice and dry. So we're gonna go ahead and do coat number two. So in the interest of time, so you guys aren't watching me do four coats, I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat on all these, get the third coat and the fourth coat done. We're gonna let them dry up and I'm gonna put some clear on it so we can come back at the end there and uh, kind of do a comparison and check it out and do a wrap up. So this is coat number two.
Hey guys, welcome back. We are about ready to put the finishing touches on this project. And uh, while you guys were away, I finished the last couple coats of candy and we put a little bit of 2K clear over the top of these. And uh, now we can really check them out with the light and, and see what it is I was talking about. So if you remember at the very beginning, I talked about the actual process to come up with this pagan gold color. So again, I got these samples in front of me. The darkest, this was a two to one. This is a three to one mix, and that was the four to one mix. These two are really close, but uh, I opted for the three to one. That was the closest that I saw, and, and I was matching that over a, a silver base coat. So this is over our 6013 silver sealer. Uh, and a three to one, so three parts lemon yellow to one part tequila yellow. So this was the ticket. That was the color there. So we went ahead and did the, that particular mix, that uh, mixture three to one over those four bases. So. Now that these guys are cleared, you can really see what they look like. So this is our metallic white, our coarse metallic white, 361 with four coats. Let me see here. Now, again, the metallic white, if you guys are familiar with spraying candies like this, metallic white is going to give you kind of the brightest uh, value in terms of color. Moving on, we have the 350 metallic gold. So the metallic gold would be the true candy apple, and this is going to be a little bit warmer because of that gold. So a little bit warmer, not as cold as the white. And we got our 6013. This is the original that I basically mimicked right here. So this is exactly the same as that first one. This is over the 6013. And one thing to keep in mind, uh, if you're going lighter with yellows sometimes over silver, they kind of have a tendency to look a little bit green if you really don't have a heavy concentration. So just keep that in mind. It sometimes has a green tendency if you don't put enough in terms of coverage. And then our final coat here, or our final color was our 359, our metallic charcoal. So big difference. This actually kind of has a little bit of a, a root beer look to it, you know, a little more brown, like almost a dirt track, but that's because of that charcoal metallic. So really, uh, four different colors, three that are really the same, obviously the last, really, really dark, but uh, just kind of shows you, again, what you can achieve with just a ground coat as well. So for Color Mixing with Chris, I'm Chris Arpin, Createx Colors. Thanks for checking us out, and we will see you guys next time.